what's up guys today we are going to be doing a guide on how to get aim like an r6 pro so today we're going to start on how to find your perfect sense and we're going to go through level one two and three after that on how to improve your aim and practice your aim so how to find your perfect sense so in the middle of your mouse pad you want to be able to when you flick all the way to the right to barely being able to do a full 180 or just slightly over if you feel like you're spinning with that your sense is probably way too fast so you want to be able to go from the middle of your mouse pad want me to get in there to like a full 180 or slightly beyond so next in how to find your sense so let's let's start with where my sense is at by five five eight hundred dpi here are my ads senses if you guys want them feel free to pause the video for this and uh let's go from there so what you're gonna do you're gonna start here go to here and go here and to there so let's let's do that really quick you go ads one two one three one two one three if you feel like you're over flicking and having to come back your sense might be a little too fast try something lower if you feel like you're having to go like here then you have to having to really push it your sense might be a little bit too slow. try raising it you want to be able to do this fairly accurately where it doesn't really feel like you're really having to struggle at all whatsoever and that's just a really quick way to find a sense that works for you now let's get to levels of aim training all right so level one in the shooting range we are going to go to idle and we're going to begin All about getting that single headshot, not feeling like you're spraying your gun where it feels comfortable. Get that single headshot and just keep on pushing. You do want to do this with a 1x because most weapons that you use in Siege are going to be 1x's. And just see how far you can go. And work on improving. A reload. What happens when you trust just like that. Things. So this will help you so if you if you if you change your sense come back to this spot do the one two three drill and then do level one again and just see if you can beat your previous score your score doesn't really matter here so it really is just about how to find your sense level one is just a quick little warm-up to warm your aim up now let's go to level two level two you're going to change it from idle to walk This is how people are mostly going to be moving around while they're shooting back at you. So this is good practice Been on shooting actually, like, you know, moving targets. Chat. And again, you wanna go try to go for a single headshots as much as you possibly can. And don't move around, just stand still, don't lean. It's about getting your aim down. Working on improving your aim. There's training like this in like aim labs and Kovacs, but it's way better training to do this in Siege where the recoil is going to be consistent on your actual matches. Just like that so again just work on having that head height crosshair placement and just scanning so we're gonna do this a little bit slower to really drive this point home so here if i don't see anyone in view but i know he's to my left like if i see them to my left So, 
let's talk about what I'm doing there. So as I'm scrolling to one, I get close to their head as fast as I possibly can. I slow down right before. This is why you're gonna want a perfect sense. So like, I get close and then I slow down. Close and slow down. Get close and slow down. Close and slow down. If you feel like you're having to do this a lot, where you're like, oh, 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 your sense is way too fast. And if you feel like you're having problems like keeping up with them, or you're like really having to move your mouse around way too much, you do probably need to lower your sense. Doing this a couple times will increase your aim. Uh, yes, aim is not everything in Rainbow Six, but it is a lot because at the end of the day, you are going to be in a 1v1 situation at some point, and you're going to need to be able to hit that shot. Now, let's go to level three. And level three is the going to be the one that is going to really make your aim a lot better. So here's level three. You're going to do small ball, and you're going to put them on walk. You could put them on sprint if you want to, like, make a, you know, run or sprint. But most of the time, you're not going to be shooting at targets like that. You want to really make sure that you are working on how people are going to be aiming at you and shooting at you. So this, this is the one that you really want to improve. So I, you can do big ball or small ball. I would prefer small ball because that is going to be the, the size of a headshot. And let's see how we do. I'm sure you guys can see how this one will definitely help you get better aim. This is all about finding that. I mean, obviously you're gonna be shooting an entire bag at a person you're shooting at, but that first bullet out of your gun is really going to make or break the rest of that firefight. So your first shot cross replacement is everything. That's some good clean shooting. Again, one more time. Like I said, this is going to be by far the most important one. Try to turn this into a game like someone brought their a game and your aim will honestly leap bounds when i first started um i definitely played a lot of aim labs just to kind of get a general feel of like okay getting used to having to flick around i strongly suggest playing a lot of this specific game mode because it is going to make you a much better player we will show you guys one more uh one more uh level just you know as like a, a recoil control level but uh that is the one that i would focus on the most because that will make your aim get a lot better let's, let's show one more all right level four is the expert level and this is going to help you just get used to the fast movements of siege I, you turn it up to four small ball and you put it on sprint so this one is going to be chaotic as all hell but How many times are you gonna have to shoot somebody like this in Siege?
But you can see how this is going to help you increase your accuracy. Quite considerably. a lot harder again that one might frustrate you a little bit so i definitely suggest working on level three and just getting it really down packed and make sure to keep track of your scores and try to beat your score every single time all right guys that's it for, for today here's level three one more time with four balls You can do this with infinite mag size or not. I like to do it with not infinite mags. That's a lot of shells. Just so I know like how many bullets I'm gonna have in the gun reliably so you get used to like when you're going to need to reload or if you can take another firefight. All right guys, but that is it for today. So if you guys learned something today, Make sure to drop a comment, subscribe, and throw a like. This also applies to all console players. This is going to come to console as well, so make sure you guys practice as well. Definitely want to see a lot more performance out of everybody. Hope this helps, guys. Never doubted you could do it. Peace out.